What's up, guys? Welcome back. So today, I want to talk about something very, very, very exciting. Ticketmaster Verified Fan Presales. Let's get into it. So we got to go over the basics. So what are they? How do they work? How do you sign up? And then any kind of tips to make sure you maximize your chances of actually getting those tickets. So let's start from the top. What is a Ticketmaster Verified Fan Presale? Basically, it's Ticketmaster's version of being able to create a presale so that they can really kind of filter out any of the bots and brokers who are trying to buy tickets for different events. Obviously, no system is perfect, um, but what Ticketmaster does is they actually have an algorithm where they'll take everyone's kind of information, you know, then kind of take it all back, put it through their magical algorithm machine, uh, and then what it'll do, it'll spit out an option saying, hey, you're eligible for the presale, or no, unfortunately, you're put on the wait list. Um, you may or may not get tickets in the future, but most likely, once you've been hit on that wait list or not been verified, essentially, uh, odds are you won't be getting any tickets. That's the basic gist of it. Uh, Ticketmaster kind of introduced it a couple of years ago. Uh, they started with just, you know, a couple of events here and there. Then it's kind of now taken off as people have um, got a bit more used to it and they've kind of fine-tuned it. So at the beginning, it was you would sign up for a pre-sale um, and you could just kind of sign up as many times as you wanted with one phone number and you know, basically you just get tons of codes to be able to buy lots of tickets. Uh, Ticketmaster has then kind of refined it so that now if you kind of use an account that is has been flagged, uh, generally speaking, you won't be getting any more tickets on that account uh, for the presale. So that's kind of what it is. Uh, in terms of how it works, it's relatively straightforward and by that I mean not straightforward at all. Uh, so let's kind of dive into that. So first off, you actually have to know when this pre-sale is happening or when the sign-up period is open. Ticketmaster obviously want as many people to sign up as possible so that they can, you know, one, get all that data and then two, you know, allow people to feel like they have the chance to really get tickets or something. Uh, unfortunately, many of them will not. Anyway, so one, you need to know when the registration period is opened uh, and with that, you then also need to register. And just knowing, unfortunately, is not enough. Uh, so actually registering is a relatively, I would say it's actually a very straightforward and very easy process. Uh, the only, there's a couple things there though that you should know. Once you've actually gone and registered, you'll get a confirmation email and it will basically tell you uh, when you'll find out if you've been selected or not. Uh, and then it'll also give you the information on when the tickets will actually go on sale for that pre-sale. Usually the night before, or two days before, you'll get an email or confirmation saying, hey, congratulations, you've been verified, hooray, success. Or you'll be on the other end of the spectrum where it says, unfortunately, due to high demand, you've been placed on the wait list. Now, being placed on the wait list can mean one of two things, basically. One, it means there are just two people who signed up. Uh, so unfortunately, they couldn't give everybody a code, which is why they kind of do this process. And then, then to the other option, when you're put on that wait list, it means that you unfortunately have been flagged. Now, they're not going to explicitly state this, but what it means is that if you have been flagged, your account will never be able to successfully get a code ever again for a Ticketmaster verified fan presale. Reason behind that is, again, like I said, with the algorithm, what they're trying to do is weed out brokers and bots. And, and so what Ticketmaster has done is basically flag that account to say, hey, we're always going to put whoever signs up with this account and this email address and this phone number, we're going to put them in this other bucket so that they never get tickets again because we don't like you. You don't know which bucket you've been put in. So obviously the first time it happens to go on the wait list, I would not be too worried or too concerned. But if you find that you've signed up for, you know, five, six, seven events down the road and every single time you're being put on that wait list, uh, that's kind of the time to get worried. The actual ticket buying process is a bit easier, but at the same time, there are a lot of kind of things that can trip you up. Uh, so when you actually are going to buy the tickets, you have to one, get into the wait room in time. Uh, so make sure that you are there, you know, about 10, 15 minutes before the pre-sale opens. Uh, reason behind that is that you actually have to go into the wait room. You have to usually, not always, but sometimes you'll have to do another level of uh, authentication. Uh, and then once you've kind of passed through all of that, and the wait room opens and you know the tickets are going on sale you're put into a waiting room line so once you're in that line it kind of depends where you are if you're in the first 2000 you'll have an actual slot or number that you'll see that pops up on your screen uh, if unfortunately you are you know 2000 or more it's just gonna say 2000 plus please wait blah 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 you see a little walking man there sometimes you'll think he kind of like tore his ACL because he's just not moving he's having a really tough time uh, but not a whole lot we can do there. Once you're kind of placed in that line, it's just a matter of waiting for the ticket for you to get to the front. Once you're there, go ahead, buy the tickets. Congratulations. You made it. You made it. You did it. Congrats. You are the best. So that's kind of the jump process of how the Ticketmaster Verified Fan Presale works. Uh, in terms of actually signing up, very, very straightforward though. Uh, we'll just jump into it right now. 
take a look here. So all you need to do is there's a couple of ways of doing it. One, you can go to the band's website and then just click through the links there to get to the verified fan sign up page. Um, otherwise, you can just go onto Google. Once here, uh, just take a quick look at all the information. Uh, just tells you they're going on tour. Stay tuned. Sign in buttons here. We'll click that in a moment. Uh, it what you'll see here is the deadline to register. Uh, so in this case, closes Sunday, October 20th, 10 p.m. So what we'll do is just a matter of clicking the button, sign in, put your login information. You'll get to the bottom where it'll ask you to select which show or shows you're interested in. Uh, if it's just one show that you're able to register for, you'll just see the one line. If there's multiple options, generally it'll say your first, second, third preference, however many options they give you. Uh, so all you do is just kind of go to a drop-down list and just pick one. Uh, the one that you want to go to, obviously, don't just pick any random one because we're not crazy. Uh, anyway, then last couple things, there are these two check boxes here. Do you consent to join the mailing list? And then do you want to be notified of other verified fan programs with similar artists? I don't check these off just because I don't need any more spam than I already get. Uh, so you can leave those blank. But if you do want to be notified or you want to get more information, things like that, you can go ahead and select these. Uh, but I will be leaving them blank at this time. Then the last step is here, once you hit submit, you're actually gonna go through a two-step verification process. Uh, so all you need to do is uh, click the option that you desire, so either text or call, and then what will happen is you'll get a six-digit confirmation number that you'll need to enter in once it is ready. All right, so once your code comes in, type that into your box, hit confirm, and then congratulations, registration is complete. Congratulations, you did it, you signed up. So what you'll see on the registration page is a bit more information. Uh, again, this one here is important. It does not guarantee that everybody will get a ticket. Uh, so just keep that in mind, even if you do register, it doesn't mean that you'll get a code. If you do get a code, it doesn't mean you'll get a ticket. Uh, last few things when you hear from us again. So this uh, section here basically tells you when they will announce uh, to you whether you've been selected or not. You get an email basically saying, hey, congratulations, you made it. Or unfortunately, you've been put on the wait list. Uh, so again, you do need to have your mobile device available. Uh, generally speaking, the codes will be sent a few hours before the event goes on sale. Sometimes we get it the night before. Um, but generally speaking, it'll just be a couple of hours uh, in the morning of the event going on sale. Down here tells you when the pre-sale will happen. So Tuesday, October 22nd at 4 p.m. local time. And then they tell you the limits. So in this case, four tickets per code. Easy, right? So yeah, so that's basically how you sign up. Like I said, it takes only a couple minutes, not even. So the hardest part is really kind of picking out which show or shows you're trying to sign up for. But yeah, that's kind of basically all you need to know on the sign up process. There's a couple of things that you can do to kind of help make your odds a bit better. So number one, if you're buying an event that is local, like so for example, if the event is happening in New York and you're from New York, it's not a guarantee, but for the most part, if you're buying an event in your own location, uh, it's likely that you are gonna have a better chance of getting tickets for that event. Why is that? If you're in a city where the event is happening, the odds are you're someone who actually wants to go attend that event. So if that's the case, you know, Ticketmaster, when it goes through their magical algorithm, they'll say, hey, this person likes to go to events in New York and this event's happening in New York, and I think we're gonna let them in. So bam, check mark, verified, you are good to go. Now, if you're buying for an event out in LA and you live in you know, Toronto, it doesn't mean you won't get them, but the chances of you getting selected to be verified are a bit lower than someone who, again, like I said, is local. So if you happen to have a friend who's in the city of where the event's gonna happen, um, you can sign up for sure, but also I would recommend, you know, just go talk to your buddy, tell your friend, hey, can you also sign up for this verified band pre-sale because you might have a better chance of getting tickets. You know, kind of just working together so that you can all have the best chance to get those tickets. Another thing you should not do is try and sign up multiple times. So if you sign up more than once, Ticketmaster will only take your final selection as your option. So if there are, you know, seven shows happening and you picked LA and then you went and did it again, you picked New York and then you did it again, you picked, you know, Minnesota, if you want to go to the New York show, but you ended up doing Minnesota as your last submission, that's the one that's going to get selected for the verified fan pre-sale selection process. It might say, hey, you've been verified for Minnesota, not for New York. Sorry, buddy. Unfortunately, that's kind of just the way their system works. So you have to make sure that you're very careful with the shows you're picking. Also, so if you're signing up many times for the same show or for different shows, 
um, this could potentially be a flag against you. So you wanna make sure that you're not signing up for the same thing more than once. Uh, and if you are, you're trying to keep everything in moderation. You basically don't wanna be doing signing up multiple times with the same account, with the same information. Uh, reason behind that is just because if you do this, this might be, you know, seen as bought activity or broker activity. Uh, so again, you just wanna be very careful with how you're actually signing up. So when you're actually going through the weight room and you know ticket buying process, you've been verified, uh, make sure that you only have one tab open for the event. Uh, reason behind this is that uh, if you have multiple sessions going at the same time, Ticketmaster one, again, might flag you as a broker and then just place your weight room number back into the back of the line. Uh, so that's always a bummer because then you have less chance of getting those great tickets. Uh, and then two, if you have multiple sessions open, uh, a lot of the times what's going to happen is Ticketmaster is going to run it into error. So if it says, hey, you're logging into this device, then you're logged into this device. Uh, Ticketmaster doesn't like that. They're gonna say, hey, this device over here, no longer any good, we're gonna kick you out of this weight room, and then, oh, by the way, this one too, we're just not gonna let you in. It's very important that if you're trying to have the, your best odds, you only wanna have one session going at a time. Lastly, once you've gone, got through all this process, got your code, got through the waiting room, you're into the place to buy your tickets, you're on Ticketmaster, you're ready to go, you see the map, it's all full of blue dots, don't click on the seat selection map. I would highly recommend against it. Uh, only reason behind it is because there are many people all trying to buy tickets at the exact same time. So what's gonna happen is you're gonna see that map and it's gonna show all these blue dots and all these great locations, but because there's so many people buying at the same time, by the time you actually go and click on the map and click on those you know, four blue dots you wanna get, tickets are generally speaking gonna be gone already. It's a problem, the map can't update as fast as people are clicking and buying and checking out. So it's very important that you try not to use the map uh, as much as possible. If you feel like you want to use the map, basically have an idea of where, what section you're looking at, uh, and then what I would actually recommend you do is hit Control F, and then search basically for that section. So if you're looking for section 221, um, just, you know, Command F, Control F, search for that, and just start searching on the uh, sidebar, um, and just kind of scroll through and see what your options are from there. So what's gonna happen is the sidebar will just show kind of the first main options. You'll have option for top seats or just look whatever is like the cheapest available. Um, so if you're looking for a specific section, all you need to do is just kind of do that control F, do a search for that section number. Um, other option, if you can't find it, just scroll down on the sidebar and what it'll do is kind of load up more options for you. So as you kind of keep scrolling, it might open up different sections for you. So then you'll be able to kind of jump in and find it from there. If you feel the need to go through the map regardless though, make sure that when you do, don't click on the best rows in that section available uh, because many people have the same idea and they all wanna buy those tickets. What you should do is jump back a few rows. So if you see you know, row 10 and then row 12 and 15, you might be, you know, the experience level between row 10 and 10, 15, if they're the same price, um, you might have a better option of actually being able to check out with those row 15 ones. Uh, so if you wanna kind of give yourself the best chances of actually checking out and getting good tickets, kind of just jump back a few rows to give yourself better odds of being able to use the map to get the tickets you want. I think that kind of covers everything for Ticketmaster Verified Fan pre-sales. Uh, like I said, there's kind of a whole, you know, process and thing behind it. And then obviously Ticketmaster has their own, you know, algorithm side of things as well. Uh, and then on top of that, there's just, you know, odds, 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 odds. You never know what's going to happen. So hopefully you guys are able to get successfully through this process every time you sign up. If you have, let me know in the comments below if there's been any, you know, successes or failures or questions. If you like this video, definitely hit that like button. I always, always, always am very happy when that happens. If you want to see more great content, be sure to subscribe because I'm going to be starting to post every couple of weeks going forward. And I'll see you guys next time.